Perfect start for India in uh, the Davis Cup tie against Denmark. 2-0 up at the end of the first day. Captain, uh, smiling Captain Rohit Rajpal here with me. Uh, sort of when you look ahead to the first day for tie, you obviously want a 2-0 start and that sort of decreases the pressure. But the way the players sort of executed the plans, used the conditions is something which uh, makes you very happy. Yes, certainly because you know the whole purpose of having it uh, in Delhi and on grass was that it should suit our players. And uh, and then to to have a bounce which is low and and fast that was the second strategy that we wanted to do it and uh, the the next thing was the players taking advantage of it so uh, so i think it all worked out as per game plan 1 normally we have game plan 2 and 3 to execute but game plan 1 worked out very well and uh, planning and execution as you know are two different things so uh, so the execution uh, by both uh, ram and yuki i'm very happy because whatever we decided they they executed very well and uh, yeah so, so pretty happy today to to have a good start. It'll take the pressure of the boys for tomorrow. You know, Rohit, you've seen all these uh, players as kids, and you've seen them all grow up, especially Yuki. Now, there was a time when Yuki was India's number one player, but it's it's sort of been tough for him last couple of years because of the injuries, which is sort of piled up. Playing at home, playing in front of a, a home crowd, and the way he sort of fought back against a player who's much taller than him and perhaps had a much more sort of booming serve, the way he handled it, is this something which you all are very happy with, just to see the way he sort of handles the situation? Certainly, you know, you know, uh, a player hitting like this, uh, you know, uh, you have to be mature, you have to, you know, the important thing is you have to give those away to him. Uh, if he has a big serve, he's going to hit them. Uh, idea is not to get disturbed, stay cool. And uh, the important thing is to to be able to take the important points, and that's what I kept telling him. That stay cool, it's okay. Give that to him. When he hits a big one, you have you have nothing but to clap for the other guy. But the important ones, make sure that you're on top. Uh, don't let him dominate right off the beginning. So the important ones, he did it to the T. I mean, you know, whenever he needed it, he was right there on top and uh, executed it beautifully. No, but uh, just just to sort of take you on on that, when you're playing at home. You're giving him the advice that you know, okay, it's okay to lose a couple of points, to lose a game, but you're sitting at home and you can you can you can hear the gasp from the crowd, you can hear everyone going quiet. Then does it come down to mental strength to sort of just to remember those instructions because it's very easy to sort of get carried away at that point and say you know what I'm going to go down swinging, which is perhaps the mistake his opponent made. He sort of tried to blast his way out of trouble. Yeah, I mean, some players under pressure, they, they, you know, players behave very differently under pressure. So, I think he started overhitting and he lost his cool a little, little bit because of the crowd. And, and uh, that's what I told Yuki that, you know, it's time that you focus now and, and take a big lead because he's mentally, he's, he's losing it and he's overhitting the ball. So, uh, so important points, just make sure that you're on top and, and you execute it and give him the ones that he wants. Uh, you know, if he's going to come up with something big and he's going for all out, let it happen. It's okay, it's okay, part of a match. Okay, Davis Cup is now a two-day affair. Is this sort of now a big test for you personally? Because you're two nil up, you're two nil up at home on on familiar conditions where everyone now expects you to just go and win. You've got doubles coming up next, which has sort of been a traditional strength. But do you think that it's easy for players to now also get carried away? So, what kind of responsibility do you and the other senior members of the coaching staff, Zishan is there with you as well, to sort of just put things in perspective and and tell the team? Okay, hang on. One more tie first, and then we'll we'll celebrate. No, certainly. I mean, you know, I mean, there are many ties. We won that. We've been down to love, and the yeah. next day we went ahead. I mean, against China again, you know, we went ahead and won on the second day three matches. So, you know, we're not taking anything lightly, and that's our job as well to make sure that nothing is. It's not over till it's over. So, uh, so you know, even if it's over uh, with doubles, we're still going to come out and give our best in the in the fourth or the fifth. So, uh, so every match we take it a point at a time, and and uh, it needs full attention and full full hundred percent effort, and we're going to make sure that happens. Because Frederick Nielsen, your opposite number, said that it's it's do or die for us, so we're going to attack the the double style. Uh, is that where someone like a Rohan Bopanna, who's who's your sort of veteran, a Grand Slam champion, the only one currently there in Indian Indian men's tennis, that sort of experience is something you count on to just calm whoever he's playing with. It could be Divij or it could be Ram. Uh, just sort of take that leadership and show and get the job done. Certainly, I mean you know on court to have Ro Rohan there. I mean you know he's he's a class apart player in doubles uh, you and the best part is you can play him deuce court you can play him uh, at court and you know you know that's again a class of a doubles player where he can adapt 
so yeah, I mean, you know, on court also to keep the boys, uh, whether he's playing with Devij or Ram, uh, I think for them it's a great thing to have Roman on court with him, mm. uh, because you know during the points the captain can't tell you. We can I can only tell you tell you when you uh, over a changeover. So uh, yeah, I mean it's, it's it's great to have Roman. It's uh, you know even for the singles uh, we, we discuss a lot the think tank. He's part of my think tank, so we strategize together and and we execute together. You spoke about strategy and execution, but tricky call coming up for you because uh, clearly Ram Kumar wants more. You already announced Rohan and Divij as as your number one pairing, but you can still change that. Do you? What do you look at? Uh, do you want to finish the game off, or you want to stick to? I mean, I, I understand you're not going to reveal much, but what is the thinking which goes behind uh, heading into an important match like tomorrow? No, certainly we want to finish it at uh, with the doubles. There's no two ways about that. Uh, question is who do we play, but we also have to think uh, of the fourth match. Uh, at the same time, we not don't get carried away because a lot of times, you know, we, uh, for example, like in India and China, they played their number one guy in doubles, and the doubles went to third set, seven five, and he got so tired that he couldn't play the fourth, and because he had to come right out. Similarly, if Ram does, then he probably have to have to, you know, so, uh, so yeah, I mean, you know, you need to think of the next point. Too as well. It's just that you know it's not about doubles. I mean, in in case it uh, in case for example it goes the other way, mm. then what do we do in the fourth and the fifth? So so holistically as a strategy, one has to view things in a balanced way and not get carried away. So that's what we're going to do. Also helps that division Rohan won an Asian Games gold. Certainly, they've played a lot together, and uh, and uh, I have good confidence in them too. So uh, so we'll we'll take a call this evening with the team will team meeting, and uh, we'll take a call together. I'd, I like as I said earlier, I I like to take everybody's view on things and and then take a call. So uh, it has to be a holistic team effort. Uh, so I like to carry my team in decision making too, and uh, that's what we're going to do. Okay, Rohit, tune it up uh, at the end of the first day. Good start. Uh, hopefully, you you close it out tomorrow morning. God willing and uh, yeah, that's the idea and hopefully we'll all celebrate together. Thank you. Thank you.